boys and girls, welcome to Readiness in Writing lesson number two. In today's lesson, we will be using our wooden pieces, our big lines, our little lines, and our curves to make a few of our lowercase letters. So grab your pieces and come right back. Today I have a few buddies here to help me. We have Corey, Roger the dog, Senor Bua, Edna the pig, and Mrs. Ears. So, Mrs. Ears, since this is your first time here with us, would you like to help me pray? Yes, I would, thank you. So bow your head, boys and girls. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this lovely day. I thank you that you will help us to do our best to love our mom and dad and love you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Thank you, Mrs. Ears, for your prayers. Boys and girls, what's amazing about letters is that letters make words, and we need to learn our words if we're gonna read the Bible and read other books. I have a special idea. I think we can read a book about letters. Mr. Holder, may we please read this book? Sure, Mrs. Ears. That is a wonderful book about letters. Are you ready, boys and girls? Yes. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom by Bill Martin Jr. and John Archibald. A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. We said D, to EFG, I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. And I and J and Tagalong K, all on their way up the coconut tree. Chica Chica, boom boom, will there be enough room? Look who's coming, it's L M N O P and Q R S and T-U-V. Still more. W and X, Y and Z. The whole alphabet up the... Oh no! Chicka chicka, boom boom. Skit skat scooby doo, flip flop flee. Everybody's running to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little dears and dust their pants. Help us up, cried A, B, C. Next from the pileup was skinny D and stub toed E and patched up F. Then comes G, all out of breath. H is tangled up with I, and J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped, and N is stooped. O is twisted, alley oop. Skit skat, school doot, flip flop flee. Look who's coming is black eyed P. Q R S and loose tooth T. Then U, V, W, wiggle, jiggle, free. And last to come, X, Y, Z. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But chicka chicka, boom, boom. Look, there's a full moon. And guess who's out of bed? It's A, and this is what he said. Chicka chicka, boom, boom. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. The end. Mrs. Ears, do you remember which letter was out of bed when the sun went down? Letter A. Letter A. And that is our letter that we are going to start with, boys and girls. Do you see letter A? Now we are going to practice to make it using our wooden pieces. So first, I need my little curve. Then I'm going to use my little line and I'm going to place it at the back of my curve. 
and there I have made a lowercase a. You try. Our next letter we're going to be making is letter B. Mrs. Ears, do you know the names of the pieces that I need to make the letter B? Big line and little curve. A big line and a little curve. So first I'm going to place my big line. And then I'm going to put my little curve on my right side at the bottom. This makes the letter B. Our next letter we're going to be focusing on is letter D. Just like we did letter B, we're going to use the same pieces, but in a different way. First, I'm going to place my big line. And this time, I'm going to put my little curve on the left side of my big line. When I made my B, I placed my little curve on my right side. Now that I'm making letter D, I placed it on the left side. The next letter we're going to look at is letter P. Now letter P uses the same pieces as letter B and letter D. But this time, I am going to make him a little bit lower past our line. When you write in your books, you're going to have a line like this. So letter P comes down. And I'm going to put his curve on my upper right side to make letter P. The next letter we will focus on is letter O. I am going to use my two little curves to make letter O. My first curve and then my second curve to make the letter O. Our next letter is letter S. Now you are going to need your two curves to make this letter too. First, I'm going to put my curve at the top as if I am making a C. Then I'm going to use my other curve and place it at the bottom in the opposite direction. So when you are going to write, you're going to start like a C and then change your mind. The other letter we're going to look at today is letter Q. For this letter, you're going to need your big line and two curves. So first, I will place my big line. And then I'm going to put one curve at the very top on my left side. And then I'm going to place the second curve in the opposite direction on the right side. And there I have my letter Q. The other letter we're going to look at is letter G. You're going to need the same two pieces you did for letter Q. You're going to need your big line and two little curves. First, I put my big line on. Then I'm going to take one little curve and place it at the very top. I'm going to take the second curve and place it at the bottom. And there I have my letter G. The final letter we'll look at today is letter C. Now letter C is very special because have you noticed that each of these letters that we've talked about today, we have to start with a C. And C is also known as the magic C because I can twist him in different directions to make different letters. Let's see, when I made the letter D, I placed letter C at the bottom of my big line to make letter D. When I made letter B for Mrs. Ears, I placed my C on the bottom on my left side. 
But when I made letter P for Edward the pig, I placed my C on the top right side. So letter C is a very important part of our letter making. Depends on where we place him, we can make different types of letters. So thanks to all our friends who were here today to help us. We had Mrs. Ears, B for her because she is a bunny. We had Edna the pig. What letter for Edna the pig, Mrs. Ears? Letter P. Letter P. And then Cory has the magic C. C for Cory. And Roger. His letter was? Letter D. Letter D. And then we had Sally the snail. He is letter? F. Letter F. And Mr. Senor Bua. He is letter O because he is an? Owl. He is an owl. So mom's dad, here's a fun idea to help your little ones practice writing. All you need is a zippy and some paint. And what a cool idea to form your letters. Let's review what we've learned today. We've learned that we can use our wooden pieces to make all kinds of lowercase letters. And that our magic C can make all the letters that we've talked about today. It can make letter S, letter O, letter B, letter P, letter A, letter Q, letter G, letter C, and letter D. Now that you've learned how to form the letters, it's your turn to give it a try. Take out your readiness and writing worksheet number two and give it a shot. I'll see you in our next video.